An event happens. An intrusion. A surprise. Sometimes a moment of awe, wonder, or ecstasy. But often an event not expected, unwanted, unappreciated. Mountaineering is is listening, is seeing, is paying attention in spades because you know your life depends on it and your partners. Mount Stewart was the, the go-to mountain to climb from Ellensburg because it's just granite, one of the few raw granite mountains in the Northwest. And we had climbed uh, a pitch up to the top of Mount Stewart and we're coming back, three of us. We came over, this, there's chutes that come down. You look at Mount Stewart, there's just big chutes that sort of come down. Uh, all along, they got ridges of rock, and then there's chutes, and there are ridges and chutes and stuff. So we got onto the top of the chute, um, coming off of the being at the summit of Mount, and it's a uh, it's a nine thousand foot mountain. Well, we got on, said, Look, let's let's glissade. Glissade means sort of sit down and slide in the snow, and see how it goes. We uh, started down the chute, and it, was, it wasn't any wider than this room is this way, going down. You know, like the steep as this, and stepped out on that one guy, it's two guys, I was the anchor guy, and back, and I was sort of like, with the brakes, if there's any brakes in this thing, you know, I had to put the brakes on. Anyway, we got going about 100 feet down this thing, and all of a sudden I noticed the snow was moving with me. Us. We were in an avalanche. I yelled avalanche, and rolled over, drove my ice axe in, and then swung them into the rocks to the my, and then to my right. And uh, we've, we got up out of the avalanche. He went on ahead of us. And it took out about 40 acres of timber below. Just huge, because we just triggered a massive avalanche on the mountain, because it was early in the summer or spring weather. Two more minutes, we'd have been out of control. We just shot down like thing and been right in the front of that thing and just splat. Um, anyway, we stopped, got out, and then hiked down. But you learn to be observant and to know that you have you're on the edge of being killed or getting yourself killed. Uh, but there's a mystery to that. There's a you know there's an intrigue to that. Anyway, it's training in that kind of discipline. Um, Life and death situation, danger everywhere, at the same time, magnificence everywhere. Where have you experienced an event in your life and said, I can't believe this is happening to me. This cannot be real. But it is real. It won't go away. The world as I had previously known it has been shattered, punctured blown up, destroyed, decimated, boom. An intrusion has happened and I do not know the name of the intruder. Who is responsible for this? Who has messed up my world? A discontinuity, an intrusion has shaken my world. When Zachary told everyone that he had cancer, it, it always really affects me when I see people cry and everyone was crying. I couldn't believe it when I learned that he was that he had died either. I was in a relationship where I pretty much based my life around that person and then they kind of made it clear that I wasn't part of their life and I wasn't important to them and that like really like everything fell apart at that point like everything fell apart I didn't know what to do I did, didn't know who I was I didn't know who I, who I should be well, I've had episodes of depression that were really dark and were really long there have been moments when I looked around at my life and said why am I even here this is too much I can't do this but my grandfather as he got older quit driving so he would walk across the street to a bus stop and one day he did that and collapsed and just like that he was gone. At the death of my father 
was a real life changer. I couldn't um, fathom that he would just disappear off the face of the earth. I went to see a doctor for my regular checkup, found out that I had cancer. Not only cancer, but stage four. And I was just devastated. When the discontinuity occurs, when the intrusion happens, I cannot avoid gazing into the open wound that was my previous reality. I peer into the faceless face of a greater reality. At this moment, I have a choice. I can try to patch up the hole and attempt to recreate normal, or look through this fissure and embrace the greater reality I now have the opportunity to see. Retreat or grow, this is my choice. I can, in futility, try to recreate the old world just like it was, or I can discover a new me living in a bigger reality. This is my invitation, grow or shrink. The journey of consciousness often begins with a discontinuity. I can no longer see reality as I did before. I can pretend that nothing has changed, but deep inside, I know this is not true. A discontinuity has invited me to live in its bigger reality. Only I can choose to accept or reject the invitation. Come with me. The journey is just beginning.